what causes tension headache. In this video, I'm going to share with you the recommendations I often use with my acupuncture patients if they are suffering with tension headaches. Now, in my book, a pound of, a a a pound of prevention is worth a tonne of cure. But before you can understand how to prevent tension headaches, it's helpful to know what triggers them and what causes them. But first, what is exactly a tension headache? Well, that is when you're getting pain in your neck, in your head, or possibly in your scalp. Sometimes too, you get a little bit of a pressure behind your eyes. It differs from migraine in that with a tension headache, you can usually take some painkillers and carry on with what you're doing. But with migraine, it's much more debilitating. You often have a sense of nausea with it. There can be sensitivity to light or light flashing going off in your eyes. And really, once it starts, the best way to get through it is to just lie down and let it take its course. So, tension headaches come from muscle tension. And where's that tension coming from? Well, some of the tension comes from your shoulders and from the back here, and that tightness causes a contraction in the muscles in the back of your neck and the muscles into the back of your head. And that tightness, that pressure, starts to press on the nerve endings, which generate the pain sensation. Sometimes the tension is coming from your face, often from your jaw. So, do you go it is? Or are you creating jaw tension anywhere at all? If you are, then those muscles wrap up round here, around the side of your face. So tension here could be causing pain here on the side of your head. Another big area of muscle tension on your face is here on your forehead and between your eyes. If you're squinting, if you're focusing really hard for a long period of time, all of these muscles here on your forehead will tighten up and they could be tightened up for quite a long time. And if that happens, then you'll get a tension that will radiate round possibly to the temples or a little bit up here into the sort of front part of your head. So this tension, this tension is a, um, is a response in your body from what your mind is thinking. So this tension will build up as a result of stress, as a result of feeling under pressure with having lots of things to do. And in that sort of situation, you can often take this sort of really sort of type pugilistic type attitude where you're really tightened in and bunched as you're pushing through your list. Another cause of um, the tension, the stress, uh, another cause of muscle tension could be anxiety. It could be that you are worried about your job, your partner, your kids, your parents. Tension, um, anxiety, creates a particular pattern of tension in your body as well. And that is often this tightening forward of the shoulders so that these muscles here become tight and these muscles here overwork. It could be that if you are worrying, things <coughs> worrying about things quite often, that you're forgetting to do simple things like eat regularly and drink regularly. So your muscles are becoming depleted of energy and you're becoming dehydrated. So if you are getting these headaches quite frequently, then this is a wake up call for you to do something about it. So what can you do? Well, you can use meditation and mindfulness to help you stop getting these tension problems in the first place. So do these simple tips that I'm going to give you. Start off by writing down any of the things that are causing you grief or tension. Write it down on a piece of paper. Just um, empty your head. I call this a brain dump. And anything and everything that could possibly be creating tension, be creating stress or acting as a worry and causing all of these tight type of physical symptoms in your body. When you write it down, that in itself can just be a real nice release of tension because you haven't got it stacked up in your head anymore. It's all down on paper. The second thing to do is to spend five or 10 minutes doing a simple meditation. That will quieten your mind, slow down your thoughts and have a knock-on effect of relaxing your body.
Now, if you want a hand with doing some meditation, then click on the link below this video and that will take you through to a little training program I've written. After you've done your meditation, look at your notes again, have a read through them, and then start to think about what can you do to try and prevent these worries, these anxieties, these causative factors that are building up tension in your body. What can you do to prevent them? Also, what can you do to make sure that you don't end up in these habitual positions? Could you sit lift differently? Could you have an alarm somewhere that makes you stand up and get up and move around um, from time to time? Do you need to talk to someone about resolving some of these issues? Possibly one of the solutions that you might come up with is that you need to do some exercise to release tension in your body, which is really great. But my big recommendation is to do the meditation. Meditation helps you become more mindful. And then when you're more mindful, you will notice the times when you are really focusing forward, your head sticking out of the top of your um, back, which is creating a lot of tension here, a lot of tension here, and a lot of tension here. It will help you notice when you are really bunching up, starting to grit your jaw and getting the tension coming up here and here. When you notice those things starting to build, then you can start to do something to stop them. You can get up and move around. You can remember to drink something and to eat something. So meditation is a brilliant, brilliant tool for helping you be more mindful throughout the whole of your day. And when you're more mindful, you can stop problems happening. Now, there's just one important thing I need to say here. If you're getting these headaches more often than not, then you should go back to go and see your GP. These tips that I've given here are not a replacement for having a discussion with them, just to make sure that there isn't some other underlying problems that need sorting out. So give these suggestions a go and let me know how you get on. Write some comments in the comment box down below. I really look forward to hearing from you.